For years, gaming has been my world. A place to be a hero, a builder, or just someone chasing rare loot. We grind for hours, but in the end we don't truly own anything. It all belongs to the game company. If the servers shut down, everything vanishes. Your achievements, your items, your time. Now imagine a world where you actually own that rare sword or skin. You could sell it, trade it, or keep it forever in a digital wallet. This is the promise of Web3 Gaming, real ownership powered by blockchain. It's about giving control back to players, not just companies. Early crypto games were clunky and focused on earning, not fun. It was more about money than gameplay. But things are changing fast. Developers are now building games that are genuinely fun, with ownership as a bonus. For gamers, this means a massive shift. Digital items can have real-world value. We're moving from renting digital goods to truly owning them. It's a revolution in how we play and what our time is worth. The line between gaming and real-world value is blurring. This isn't just about making money. It's about changing the rules of digital ownership. The future of gaming is being rewritten right now. The question isn't if this will happen, but how it will shape everything we play. Are you ready for the next level? The first wave of Web3 games, Play to Earn, missed the mark. They were more about earning tokens than having fun. The result? Boring games and unstable economies that collapsed when the hype faded. Now, the focus is play and own. Fun first games where blockchain adds real ownership. Imagine a rare skin in Counter-Strike as an NFT. You own it, trade it, or use it across games. This shift is attracting top talent from studios like Ubisoft and Blizzard. Over half of Web3 game developers now come from traditional gaming backgrounds. They're building worlds where gameplay comes first and ownership is the bonus. The blockchain isn't the game, it's the superpower behind it. True digital asset ownership is changing how we value our time and achievements. The new era is about great games, not just speculation. Web3 is finally putting players and fun at the center. That's what makes this space so exciting. Who's getting it right? Let's look at the leaders. Pixels, a retro farming sim on Ronin, built a sustainable in-game economy. No endless token printing, just real player-driven value. Mythical Games is making waves with NFL rivals and FIFA rivals. Officially licensed sports games where player cards are NFTs you can trade or sell. Imagine pulling a rare Messi card and selling it for thousands. This is happening now. Nexon's MapleStory Universe N gives players true item ownership and fights bots with smart systems, drawing millions of active wallets. Triple A titles are joining in too. Off the Grid, a cyberpunk shooter is launching on PlayStation and Xbox with blockchain features. Web3 is moving from niche to mainstream, with blockbuster games leading the way. These games prove digital ownership can be fun, valuable, and accessible. The best part? You don't have to be a crypto expert to play. The future of gaming is here, and it's for everyone. Real games, real value, real ownership. The revolution is underway. It's not all smooth sailing. Web3 gaming faces big challenges. First, user experience. Setting up wallets and dealing with crypto jargon is a huge barrier. But new tools like Immutable Passport make onboarding as easy as signing in with Google. Next, token volatility in-game assets can swing wildly in value, making stable economies tough. Developers are working on better systems to keep things fair and fun. And then there's trust. Bots, scams, and overhyped projects have hurt the space's reputation. Games like MapleStory N and Pixels are fighting back with anti-bot tech and stricter controls. For Web3 to go mainstream, it must be safe, simple, and trustworthy. The industry knows it and is leveling up fast. Solving these problems is the key to unlocking the next era. Only then will players truly benefit. How is Web3 gaming evolving with a tech overhaul? Early games ran on slow, expensive blockchains like Ethereum. Now, custom gaming blockchains, Ronin, Immutable, Sui, make games faster and cheaper. Developers have better tools and support, making it easier to build great experiences. CCP Games, creators of EVE Online, are open sourcing tech for others to build massive online worlds. Viral games on platforms like Telegram, Notcoin, Hamster Combat, are onboarding millions with simple, fun gameplay. AI is also changing the game, powering smarter NPCs and balancing economies. 
the fusion of AI and blockchain could create worlds more alive than ever. The tech is moving fast, making Web3 gaming more accessible and exciting. It's not just about crypto, it's about better games for everyone. The future is being built right now. So, is Web3 gaming the future? The answer? Yes, if it keeps evolving. True digital ownership is too powerful to ignore. We're moving past speculation. Fun is now the focus. Blockchain will run in the background. You won't need to be an expert. Players will have the choice to own, trade, or just play for fun. For Web3 to succeed, onboarding must be simple, economy stable, and trust absolute. The player must always come first. Gaming is becoming a bigger part of our digital lives and our digital economies. The revolution is just beginning and the best games are yet to come. I can't wait to play.